Hi everyone, in this short video, we'll be covering how to leverage AWS Security Hub to assess your AWS environment against security industry standards and best practices. We'll also look at centralizing your security event findings from AWS Partner Solutions natively on AWS Security Hub. AWS Security Hub is a service that provides a consolidated view of your security status and is also known as a Cloud Security Posture Management CSPM service that streamlines security operations with automated, continuous security best practice checks against your AWS resources to help you identify misconfigurations. Security Hub aggregates your security alerts, i.e. findings, in a standardized format and prioritizes them so that you can more easily enrich, investigate, and remediate them. The consolidated view created provides a dashboard environment for exploring your organization's security and compliance posture at a glance. AWS Security Hub accomplishes this by integrating with many other AWS native services, including Amazon GuardDuty, Amazon Inspector, AWS Systems Manager, AWS Firewall Manager, and other Amazon Partner Network solutions, and more. Underneath the hood, Security Hub leverages conformance packs in AWS Config to determine whether your AWS account aligns with a specific compliance standard and to what extent. It will also notify you with the components that need to be updated to meet the requirements. Since AWS Security Hub is a fully managed service, this means that AWS handles the underlying infrastructure, checks, and updates to Security Hub with the latest standards, and Security Hub is the easiest way to operationalize this. Finally, in addition to controlling findings, Security Hub also receives findings from other AWS services such as Amazon GuardDuty, Amazon Inspector, and Amazon Macy, and other supported third-party products. Therefore, this provides you a single pane of glass view into a variety of security related controls and events. We'll be touching on the integration with AWS Security Hub and third party Amazon Partner Network solutions in this upcoming demo. So with this, we've identified four key use cases of Security Hub to provide you value. First, conduct cloud security posture management. Second, to initiate security orchestration automation and response, also known as SOAR workflows. Three, save time and money by simplifying integrations and four, visualizing security findings in a centralized location to discover new insights about events occurring in your environments. So now let's dive into the console. First, let's navigate to the summary page in Security Hub. Upon first startup, Security Hub requires you to enable AWS Config. For security standards, you'll see various standards and compliance frameworks to enable automated security checks. Go ahead and enable Security Hub. From the summary page, it can take up to two hours to see initial findings in your account. Most checks begin to run within 30 minutes. Let's fast forward to once the findings are complete. Here from the summary page, you can see what standards have been enabled in your account, and you can see the number of passed and failed controls per standard. Click on security standards from the navigation on the left. All standards were enabled using CloudFormation when this account was provisioned, but if you scroll down, if there isn't a standard that hasn't been enabled, you simply click to enable this standard. After first time score generation, Security Hub updates the security score every 24 hours. Let's go into view results for Center of Internet Security, AWS Foundations Benchmark version 1.2.0. From the top of the page, you can select tabs to show only passed, failed, disabled, etc. controls. You can also filter to a control based on ID. Let's specify ID equals EC2, Point one three point. Click on the title, security groups should not allow ingress from 0.0.0.0 to port 22. This presents a view of all resources evaluated for this particular control and the current status of each resource. AWS Security Hub also provides links to recommended remediation instructions for each check. At the top of the page, click the remediation instructions link to open guidance in a new tab. At the top of the page, review the security standards widget. This provides your most recent summary of a security score and the security score of each Security Hub standard. These range from zero to 100% and represent the proportion of pass controls relative to all your enabled controls. Scroll down to the graphs under most common threat type and software vulnerabilities with exploits. Here we can view the threats and vulnerabilities aggregated in your account. Now that we have a better understanding of our security score against common security standards, let's go over how we might aggregate security finding data from supported AWS Partner Network, APN Security Solutions. 
to have a comprehensive view of security and compliance across your AWS environment. Now we'll be showing how to access one of the partner integrations available, Cloud Custodian. Cloud Custodian enables you to manage your cloud resources by filtering, tagging, and then applying actions to them. The YAML DSL allows definition of rules to enable well-managed cloud infrastructure that's both secure and cost optimized. Open the integrations page in Security Hub and search for Cloud Custodian. Next, click Accept Findings. Review the permissions required for this integration. Third, click Accept Findings. This will put in place a service policy allowing the partner solution to send finding information into this account. For the purposes of this workshop, a Cloud Custodian instance is already set up to automatically send findings to the integration you just enabled. To use other partnering integrations in your account, you would still need to complete the configure step in the partner solution so that findings that are created by the partner solution are then sent to Security Hub. Finally, you can see findings to view new findings from Cloud Custodian. It will take five to 10 minutes for them to appear. Now that the findings have been loaded up, you can view the findings that have arrived here from Cloud Custodian. First, for example, clicking through the finding EBS mark unattached and looking at all the fields and resource tags. Also looking at VPC flow log checks, having a look at the flow logs that have been raised by Cloud Custodian and same with any S3 buckets that have encryption policies that are absent. Feel free to look at these insights and these will be integrated directly with your AWS Security Hub in your environment. Finally, you can try AWS Security Hub at no cost with a 30-day free trial. The trial includes a complete Security Hub feature set and security best practice checks. Every AWS account in each region that is enabled with Security Hub receives a free trial. During the free trial, you'll get an estimate of your monthly bill if you are to continue to use Security Hub across the same accounts and regions. If you want to dive deeper into AWS Security Hub and its features and learn more about its integrations with AWS and other third-party services, visit aws.amazon.com security hub.